were so close to earning a point. Brighton, though, took all three. However, the victory didn't prevent a demonstration at the ground, with dozens of supporters making an unsuccessful attempt to storm through the director's box and into the main stand. Seats in the director's box were torn up and a glass door smashed. The post-match interviews forced underground, where Brighton manager Jimmy Case was putting on a brave face and looking to the future. I started, uh, well, you say, rebuilding process, if you like, and I think it was February, so uh, as it's running now, it's running where you say, true to what I'm thinking. And uh, as I say, the, the other pieces of the jigsaw will come perhaps in the summer and then towards the early part of next season. And uh, I've got every confidence in what I'm trying to do. And what you're talking about, the things off the park, um, they're the things where I don't really get directly involved. I can't persuade councils or things like that and what's running the arguments between the two. So uh, I try to concentrate myself on the, on the playing side and obviously keep my players away from it as much as possible, but um, I can understand the feelings of the fans and I'm one of the players, like I've always played for the fans and uh, I don't change my attitudes because I've gone into management. More developments, news this afternoon. Extra police will be drafted in against uh, York next Saturday, which could be the last game at the Goldstone. Ray, how can Jimmy Case manage under such uncertainty? It's very difficult, but uh, unfortunately you just have to get on with it and uh, what he's doing is quite correct. He's trying to keep the players away from it and get their concentration on the game of football because that's what they're paid to do, not get involved in the politics of the club. Can you understand the fans' frustration? I can understand the fans' frustration. I can't see what they did there at the end being right in trying to storm in the director's box. What that does, it doesn't achieve anything. But yes, I can see the frustration. You know, they were a top, divi top first division side. They've come out of that division. They're going to go into the bottom division in the league. And they are a club that's got very, very good support. Confirmation in the bottom of Division 2. No real way out for a relegation. Brighton have got to win their last three. And Burnley have got to lose their...